What are your thoughts on the term Western democracy? Australia is south of China. Mexico uses the Latin alphabet and linguistics uh, I don't know what this is, of Rome, yet it is not Western. Arabs and Persians have long uh, loved the Greek and Roman classic millennium before the Europeans. It excludes arguably the oldest democracy in North America. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. Is Western now a, a, a word by U.S. vassals, is it merely a classist tool that only nations of certain GDP per capita may be ascribed? Now, I mean, no, because Australia is that is in that list, and Australia is not like people are not trying to exclude Australia. They have higher GD, high GDP per high GDP per capita. Uh, it's what they're not. They're saying okay. For I mean, you mentioned all of these examples. But there, that's there's not there's no evil reason behind why they call it Western. Okay, they're not talking about the history of what was before the Enlightenment. Most of these ideas comes from the Age of Enlightenment, which happened in Western Europe. Okay, and it was popularized in Western Europe, and is like yes, these ideas, um, the hints of it happened before uh, the Age of Enlightenment, but it was extreme, like the level of popularization and nuance and detail. Uh, was not even close to what the uh, Enlightenment philosophers managed to uh, accomplish and um, the amount of popularization they managed to achieve after, right? So that's why they refer to it as Western, okay? Um, it was it was after then, um, after the French and um, the American Revolution, that these ideas spread and managed to change the world so dramatically for the better, right? And we owe these ideas so much. Um, so that's why they call it Western. However, I still think um they shouldn't call it western okay yeah it's, it, it is a branding problem by the way susie you on your you look so much better on your phone this is like you look angelic this oh my god like, thank you no this is right? such a better I, the lighting <laughs> the the camera is so much better like you look you look so good right now so yeah don't american brings up a good point this is actually why i don't like the term western because i find it almost like meaningless like it's so nowadays in our contemporary age it's so hard to tell ex explicitly what it is. Yeah. Ah, you go cut. into so that's why when i ever say like what for like trees okay you're getting cut in and out but i agree with susanna it's um it is a branding problem Susie, are you back? All right. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, That's kind of why I tend to choose the phrase like free societies more. Even that is questionable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I say enlightenment values. I say enlightenment values because um, not because they don't come from the West. Uh, they do come from the West. Um, however, um, it's easier for you to convince people to accept them. If you don't call them Western values, right, uh, the resistance to it would be less. Also, it belongs to the world. Um, so given that we're trying to make it a global thing, it would be better if we don't call it Western values. Um, and thirdly, West, there are other Western values that are crap, okay? Um, so if you call them Western values, you, it kind of seems like you're suggesting Western values as a whole are a good thing, which they're not. Um, we have, um, let me put Susie down. Um, we have Nazism, which is a Western value. We have communism, that is a Western value. And these are really bad ideas. They are horrible ideas, okay? Um, and so, so calling them Western, it seems like you're basically, if you say enlightenment values, then you're you're being more specific about which one of the values that come out of the West you are celebrating and trying to prescribe to it. So both from a branding -ish, uh, perspective for more people to accept it, and both because even if they come from the West, they work everywhere. They work every country that adapts them and benefits from them. It doesn't matter if they're Western or not, right? You can see Japan, you can see South Korea, you can see Taiwan, right? You can see Australia, right? Uh, these are not, uh, none of these are Western, but as soon as you adapt these values, the countries progress um, significantly faster than any, than other countries, right? So uh, 
we want everybody to adapt it. So, and also because yeah, communism and Nazism are also Western. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense to call them Western. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.